intent. Yes. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Welcome. 24, I think it is now. Yeah. 24th podcast. We're back quite quick because of Saudi Arabia stuff. So, yes. yes, Crown Jewel 2019. Well, I think it's the second Crown Jewel of 2019. Didn't they have one earlier in the year? Was it earlier in the year? Was yeah, it? Braun Brock or something. Uh, well, I don't know. It's another Crown Jewel. It's Saudi Arabia. But also, also, also... I'm still the champion, my friend, and I'll be the champion till the end. There's the sound of no one cheering. <laughs> I want I predictions. <laughs> you, you, I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to get into it. They don't care. Still ahead. Uh, Matt will. What do you hear? Yeah, yeah, whatever. You'll be seething. <laughs> the only thing I've got to say to that is no deaths. <laughs> <laughs> There's been no deaths because it's been that quick. So, yeah, Crown Jewel 2019. Um, before we get in, obviously, like, subscribe, SoundCloud, Stitcher, iTunes, or mu- Apple Music, whatever it is now. I keep oh, forgetting. Yeah. We're on Instagram, we're on Twitter. And Even Google us, you'll find us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Angus Land Podcast, yeah. you'll find us. So this was, again, like I say, another Saudi Arabia show, so they went all out for it again. Um, well, they went out with pyro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <that's what laughs> I mean. they, they, so they threw their money at it to get a load of money back. Mm, yeah. um, but, you know, the crowd seemed really up for it this time. Um, yeah, there's a couple of times they died off. Yeah, that, but, but yeah. I was, I was that. As, as, the, as the Saturday Arabia mm-hmm. shows go on, the crowd seemed to get more and more invested. Um, yeah. You know, yeah, we, they we, more, yeah, they were more invested than they were last time. Yeah, no, no, not just, you know, first time, you know, you have the, like, the princes and stuff just sitting there on their chairs and not really giving a shit. Then it started getting up, but mainly the men. And this time it showed, like, the women and children were kind of, just loving it. It, mm. it, it, it felt like they really appreciated what do we do? You know, we, we, you know, I, we've crapped on our. I just realised. What? I've still got the clock sitting up there. So if anybody can hear it, they can hear ticking. Can you hear the ticking? Can you hear it? Yeah, you. No, well, trust me, you can. Well, okay. Trust me, you can. I'll take the battery out. I, we're not going to start this again. Not, no, we're not going to start <laughs> again. No, 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 I'm starting again. This will stand there forever as a fuck up. Uh, but so, I apologise for that. If I, I didn't hear ticking, it was putting you off because believe me, it put me off when I heard it back last time. Uh, but, I've never heard it, so <laughs> sorry for the delay. Uh, anyway, yeah, <laughs> back to it. Um, yeah, they seem that you know, we've had our grievances before of what we think about the deal between WWE and Saudi Arabia. But yeah, it seems like the Saudi Arabia fans really appreciate what they do. So as far as the show goes. The crowd were really up for it, and that's always a good thing. It, it, yeah, sometimes it, it that atmosphere helps. it does help. Well, yeah, yeah. Sometimes that atmosphere bleeds through the television mm-hmm. and gives us more atmosphere, and yeah. more energy. So yeah. So first match uh, the pre show was the. Well, I was going to get to that because it's re- later because it's relevant to the AJ Styles match. Well, we might as well do it. Yeah, we might as well do it now. Well, okay, just, yeah. Um, Twenty man battle. Oh, right. Uh, um, is, uh, let me out. He's a new guy, so let me. Humberto Carrillo. Yeah, that's that. Okay, he's on it. See, <laughs> see. I didn't want to like get it wrong. Um, yeah, he won it, uh, which was really predictable. Yeah, it was kind of and predictable. From what I saw from highlights afterwards, because I didn't watch the pre-show before, I just kicked him in the show and I checked highlights afterwards, and there was nothing special really going on. No. Uh, Luke and Harper, the like Har- Luke, Luke and Harper, Luke, Luke and, and Rowan, Luke and Rowan. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of got into a quick altercation. Didn't really last long, and then Humberto took the win. Yeah. Apart from that, nothing really happened. No, I mean, looking at uh, before the match, looking into it, you know, I was thinking of who could be a favourite here, and the ones I either thought of, I thought, well, I doubt that's going to happen because they're over on SmackDown, or they're already in the Team Hogan Team Flair match or something. So yeah. with everything that had been going on for the last few episodes of Raw and SmackDown, it's better, Raw, it? yeah, it was like it's got to be. Yeah, and it was, but you know. The, I'm behind this push for Carrillo because... Oh, yeah, he's great. I mean, he's been having a great show in the match he had with Seth a couple of weeks ago on Raw it was incredible. Well, yeah. I it's, really enjoyed it. He's not, he proved himself from 205, but I suppose in a way, you know, he's, he seems to be a phenomenal wrestler. Um, but it seems to me that uh, because not many people watch 205, unfortunately, he's come to this main roster and just kind of hit with fire he's, he's rolling real quick do we do we seem to be behind him and I think it's a smart thing for them to go here's a fresh face young new guy for you to get behind and they're, they're, they're ticking all the right boxes at the minute for the fans to go you know it's, it's not it's, it's, not, built, yeah, it's, not it's an organic build, build. Yeah, and not, they're putting him against the right person so one putting him against AJ is the perfect person to carry yeah. someone 
Yeah. And it doesn't matter if AJ ends up putting him over because AJ's the kind of person who doesn't lose out from that. Yeah. It wouldn't surprise me if it's a, a, a Vince McMahon test because obviously he's... Sorry, that's my phone going off. Um, last time he goes, this is your guy, it was Roman Reigns. And again, that wasn't organic. It might work if it was organic, but mm-hmm. at the same time, it was like, hang on, we'll tell you who we, who we like. Who we like. Unless you do it right. So someone's probably said, well, hang on, these are the kind of... Uh, Carrillo's the kind of wrestlers we as fans are getting behind in this generation now. So Vince is probably going, oh, let, let's see what happens. Let's try it. And it's working. Yeah. But again, don't rush it. Yeah, don't. Yeah, that don't seems to be the theme yeah, most nice of the time. Build to keep it that way. So, yeah, he won the Battle Royal where he earned a United States Championship match during the night, which night. we'll get to. <laughs> yes. First match, let's start off with the Battle Royal. Um, yeah, this... <laughs> This was the worst part of the night for me, and after that, I was kind of like, great, this is how it's going to go. Uh, this is how the rest of the... And I'll be honest, the, the whole pay-per-view was a mixed bag. There was some real yeah. good things, some good moments, some good wrestling, but there was also some real boring or yeah. crappy or just nothing interesting. So it was, it was a mixed bag, but this was the crappiest of the crappiest, and I genuinely yeah. I can't believe that they actually signed off on this. So it's Lesnar versus... Cain Velasquez. Velasquez. They got legitimately beat him in the UFC, yeah. and they went against each other. And I thought, you know, they they started off with kind of the very UFC type style of fighting, yeah. and keeping their guard up and everything, the punches and kicks and everything. I was like, right, this might be a decent UFC fight. And then before you know it, he gets a high kick on Lesnar. Then he knocks Lesnar down. He punches Lesnar the shit out of Lesnar. Lesnar gets him in the Camaro lock and he taps out. In two That's minutes. That's it. You've That's just it. The there was no match. suplexes, no F fives, no other matches, no running the ropes, nothing. It was, that was literally yeah. it, and it was an absolute train wreck of a match, considering you opening with Lesnar again, mm-hmm. which is all, already annoying. And the WWE Championship. And the WWE Championship, but it's also annoying. Trying to build this Kane character up, because apparently he's selling a multi-year deal, and you just shat on all of them. Yeah. It just, you fucked it all up. Like, there was nothing good that came from this, absolutely nothing. It was, whoever signed off on it should be ashamed. Because that was terrible. Uh, the, your first matches are meant to get you hyped and built, and yeah. then you come away from the match and go, right, I'm ready to see more, let's go. But with that, I was just like, ugh, that's just deflating me from the get-go. The, the weird thing was, when, when I watched what went down, but, yeah, obviously I was pissed off just the way the length and the way the match went, but with the situation of, like, you know, like we talked about how it was booked and what the plan was and how they executed it, I don't think I even had enough room in my head for frustration because I just genuinely couldn't fathom what was going on or what they wanted to happen, what was meant to happen. Because yeah. for ages, we, you know, we were watching it, we're like, because of the camera angle, we couldn't see him tap. Mm. Then they showed the replay, and it did show him, let's say, no, we're 75% sure he was tapping. It was a slow tap. But it looked more like it could have been a struggle for the ropes. But if Kane comes out on SmackDown or whatever next and says, I didn't tap out, I was struggling for the ropes, they show the replay... A lot of people would go, no, you tapped out. It, it was, wasn't was a clear tap out, but it was a tap out. Yeah, it was similar to that uh, Taker tap out with Lesnar a couple of years ago. Yeah, because Taker did tap out. It was just, but, you know, but again, yeah. we, we weren't sure, were we? But again, that story, that was, yeah, this was storyline, but that was storyline, and it sort of worked. You know, we, we kind of liked the confusion. But at the end of the day, when that finally going. happened, the, re- the rest of the match was pretty good, but this was just shit. The, the, yeah, to there's a difference between watching a, uh, a WWE match and going, ooh, what the fuck's going on here? To, what the fuck is going on here? Yeah. This is bullshit. Very different inflections. Yeah. 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 So, uh, the thing is as well, you know, even the commentators said, you know, my brother had a problem with this, but I was like, I'm going to let it slide. They said, Cain Velasquez, 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 whatever. Velasquez. Yeah, well, that's the one. <laughs> is the only person to legitimately beat up Brock Lesnar. When um, my brother's problem was that, I was like, right, okay, you see, you pretty much announced to the, the non kayfabe world, kayfabe, or whatever, that He's this is all bullshit yeah. in this wrestling world. But I didn't take it like that. I just thought, well, why don't you look at it in the whole, yes, okay, Brock's been beaten before in WWE, but no one ever has bitch slapped and bloodied up Brock like Kane did in the Octagon. Yeah. So you've built this guy up from the get go of. This guy kicked the shit out of Brock Lesnar badly in one round and TKO'd him. And yet... So to me, they were kind of building up to this is the guy to knock Brock off, off his, his pedestal. pedestal. Yeah. 
And Brock owned him in 60 seconds. I, I, I feel like maybe this was Vince's way of going, oh, well, he beat him in two minutes in UFC, so I'll have Brock beat him here in two minutes. Possibly. It just, Probably should be like, oh, that actually... It will be funny. No, it won't, Vince. It'll be stupid, just like your fucking face. It just... <sighs> fucking idiot. It's kind of, Now, not only were people pissed off with Kane anyway, and that when he had that whole thing with Shelton where he just didn't look legitimate and, mm. and good... He didn't do anything That's bad it. in the match, but he didn't but there wasn't do much, anything. He didn't there wasn't much of a match to have. Like, I didn't even get a chance to settle in properly and go, let's see whether Kane can do this. Yeah. We'll see how we go. Yeah. Because it was over before it really started. The, the, before he got on top of him, the, the, the swings, I think, when the Kamara lock, that knee the high, and, and the high, high kick. kick. It? Yes. Yeah, it, yeah. The, to me, the knee looked like a low blow. I think it was meant to be to the gut, but it looked like a low blow, which is already like... Well, okay, we're going to let that slide, but if it was meant to be to the gut, Kane, get your priorities sorted. And then the kick, Brock either nearly missed it or Brock got the hand up, and Brock, rightly so, doing his job, sold it like it really rattled him. But even watching it back, it was like, that didn't connect to the point that it even knocked me down, Mm -hmm. let alone Brock Lesnar. So, all the the build-up to this Kane guy, which is is now gone. It was one of the marquee, marquee matches for this show. Yeah. There was yeah. three marquee matches, which was the Team Hogan versus Flair, mm-hmm. this match, and then the Fury versus Braun. Sure. They were the three yeah. marquee matches for this. And this was a massive, massive fuck-up. You ruined everybody. But, Everybody's going to be pissed off with Brooke Lesnar again, as they always are, yeah. because he shouldn't be WWE champion, and he shouldn't be winning that quickly against mm-hmm. this person. You fucked up Kane because he tapped into you know, a, a shitty two-minute yeah, two match, whatever it was. And you're screwing over the WWE Championship again by putting it on first. Yeah. But no there was wins. no wrestling at all. No. Not, but the Kamara lot could be argued that, but that is a UFC move as well. Yes. Um, but, you know, even we could talk about the German suplexes and F5s, but the fact is Kane is there to... He's not like a, a one-time thing like Fury is. He's there to be a wrestler now. He, I think he's sticking around. Yeah. And he's been training. And yet he took no bumps whatsoever... And I don't get why not. I mean, if he's meant to be a wrestler, you've got to take a German suplex or an F5 or two. Because be it's your job. Yeah. And you're meant to be one of the most legitimate, badass, hardest men on the planet. I think you can take a bump on the mat a couple of times. Yeah. So, it's just... Uh, it, now I'm getting frustrated. Yeah. Even though I wasn't with the, uh, when I watched it. It's getting to the point now where they just... Well, okay, for someone who's just a fan of UFC, that suddenly went, hey, you never guess what, is Kane Lesnar again, at a WWE event. They've probably turned their nose up here at first, as a lot of non-wrestling fans do, but they've probably gone, well, hang on, this is Kane Lesnar, let's see what they can do. If anything, if they've bought the pay-per-view, they're going to be pissed off, because they're going to feel ripped off, and they're just going to be sitting there going, this is why we don't watch WWE. But that, that was bullshit. And again, this is down to... Vince's little brain I guarantee he's thinking this well they've paid for the pay-per-view mm. I, I can do what I want with these matches it doesn't matter they've paid for the pay-per-view yeah, but, yeah. and Vince's head he's going like well it would boxing or the UFC you have the risk that it could be a one round fight and that's it but nobody if it's wrestling, wrestling, wrestling we expect a if, longer if, if a wrestler went, yeah, if a wrestler went into UFC or MMA and that Fine, I expect that kind of stuff. But when a MMA or UFC guy comes to wrestling, like Ronda Rousey, she came and she wrestled, and yeah. she wrestled damn good. Yeah, we she have... did it properly. And with this, it was nah. Yeah, when you're watching a, a sport like boxing or UFC live, because it's legitimate, you know it's the whole. This could end at any minute. It starts, and now it could end at any minute. Mm. With, with a wrestling show, which is scripted, it's, it's the equivalent of going to a movie and it, it lasting five minutes. You want to see a full-length movie, not a five-minute snippet of some shit movie. It's well, so, so, it, so it ends when Thanos gets his head cut off. Yeah, that's yeah, it. That was it's it. over. Yeah. It was, I mean, don't get me wrong. They have matches sometimes where they do last seconds. Sometimes they annoy us. Sometimes it's good for the story, and it works. This was not one of those cases. No. We wanted to see a fight. We got nothing instead. It's crap. So, yeah, anyway... Like, I, I said that was the main rant over for the pay, for the yeah that obviously there's a couple of other bits but yeah that, that was the main one definitely they obviously building up to Ray Lesnar because Ray got in there and why? in the chair why why would they do that I'm interested to see what will go but I think it's going to end the same way you know they always do with Brock yeah it, Brock will kind of make it look like Ray might do it and then 
it will take maybe one F5 and a, a, about six German super actors and Ray will be in a heap. Unless Dominic gets involved, which would be interesting, but mm-hmm. yeah. Anyway, mm-hmm. next was the Tag Team Battle Royal. Yes. To determine the best tag team um, in the world. This this had its ups and downs. Yeah, this there was, was a lot of bits and bobs that I actually quite enjoyed, uh, but there was other things that kind of got a little bit boring, a little bit tedious. Yeah. It, what, it was a mixed bag of a, of a match, really, because it was back and forth. Um, Most of the time it looked like the teams didn't know what to do with each other. Yeah. Yeah, there was either those long, those short moments where someone came in, there's a big flurry of moves and someone was eliminated, or they'd drag it out a bit, but to my knowledge it was a lot of like headlocks and arm bars mm. and sleep balls, that kind of thing of chain based wrestling until they go, oh, all right, time to be eliminated. Then they'll do their like finish it thing yeah. and that'll be it. Yeah, so who, who did we start with? It was it was Bobby Roode and Ziggler. Oh yeah, versus. Uh, da, 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 I got this. No, I don't. Holy shit! Oh, it's Ryder and Zach, weren't it? No, 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 no. They, they, came, they came running in, didn't they? Did they? Yeah, pretty sure it was. It was oh bollocks! <laughs> this is embarrassing. <laughs> Let me check the list. I was gonna say I'm pretty sure. No, uh, Hawkins Ryder came in third because I thought. Oh, third? Was it? Was uh, it? Yeah, because he had the first two. Then. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, it was the Lucha House Pies. Oh, yeah. Yes. And um, they got they, they did okay. Well, what I said to you um, at the time, the Lucha House Party are a lost in the shuffle character-based gimmick, yeah. which is unfortunate because oh, they were proving that... There's the motorbike the motorbike motorbike man. Even at, on a Wait. Friday afternoon, yes. But they, they were still proving that, look, despite a gimmick and where we are on the card, we're good wrestlers. Mm. And they did, they did a lot of our yeah. high as you'd expect from a Lucha match. Um, yeah, so the Luchas went... Then it was Hawkins. Then it was Hawkins and Ryder. They they took out Rude and Ziggler, didn't they? Well, they fucked up the finisher. Yeah. Zach didn't even hit that net breaker thing. Oh, no, he's so he like, he completely missed it, didn't he? Yeah. There was no like he was like I don't know at least two hands apart. I would say he didn't even hit From his hair. He didn't grab him at all. <laughs> but they still sold it because you kind of you, you have to. to. But the yeah. thing that annoyed me the most the commentators. The commentators. Oh, he connected with it. No, he, no, he didn't. He just didn't. say he made a misstep. Yeah. Just say, oh, he, he didn't get all of it. Or say something to have a believability. Stop saying that things happened when they didn't. Just if you said something like, oh, yeah, misstep, but you know, Hawkins is still grinding down on that backbreaker because I think that's what it was. It was like a backbreaker, yeah. backbreaker thing. But then later on, uh, I think Kurt, Kurt got chucked out of the ring, went to get back in, and Ziggler hit him with a super kick. And even I, not Missed as bad, but I could see the gap between the face and the kick. Yeah, and I was like, okay, Hawkins are running in there for not even five minutes, and they've already fucked up twice. I don't know whose fault it was. That fault was was his fault. Mm. I don't know what the Hawkins thing. It might be Dobbs' fault. I don't know. But yeah, they were in and out like a hiccup. Um, then, then we got revival. Or was it New Day? I think it was the New Day. New Day. New Day lasted for a while. They got rid of Ziggler and Rude, and then I think it may have been the revival that came yeah, out. Yeah, because New Day got rid of the, the favourites, weren't uh, they? Yeah, then... Um, then I think it was Heavy Machinery. Heavy Machinery came out. They yes! Got, got rid of Heavy Machinery as well. Because New Day and Heavy Machinery had a, a little bit of, like, playful... Um, I would notice and Ian... Oh, no, it was... No, it was, uh, the, no, it was well, it was all of them, really. Uh, Big E was showing off his strength, as was... Is it Travis? Is yeah. That yeah. No, no, no. Uh, oh, hang on, it should say here. I've got the thing. Tucker. Tucker. Yeah. Travis. I don't know where Travis <laughs> is. It began with T. Not a lethal weapon, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were kind of playfully, like, just kind of, like, having fun at first. Then they were kind of showing off their own feet. Yeah. And it's kind of, I'm hoping it's building up to them, kind of like we discussed, like, let's see who the better team is. Because they seem to have good chemistry. Yeah. And I like that. So, yeah. They got, yeah, the Home Machine got a decent show, and even though they didn't last... Um, uh, yeah, as did then it was uh, revival. I think again. it was the revival then. And they took out. Did they take out? No, they, no, they, they took out. Set. The new day rolled them up. Yeah, that was it. That, they was, the that was it. And then it was the OC. No, it was B team. B team got in there somewhere. I can't remember. No, no, they, they were gone quite quickly. I think yeah. they didn't last very long. Yeah. Then, um, yeah, I think the OC came in. Took out the. New I took day. out the new day, and then the Viking Raiders came in, and OC got the upset victory. Yeah. And I obviously thought it was going to be Viking Raiders. I mean, I predicted New Day, but so many other people were predicting Viking Raiders because they're quite strong and quite popular at the moment. Yeah. But the OC victory, it was a shocker. It wasn't one that I could see anybody else predicting. I don't, I don't think anybody went for those. None of us no. did. And yet we got the OC winning 
winning the cup. And you know what? I'm not against it. No, I'm Because they're, they're clearly building this stable of the OC with these guys and AJ and everything. And I think that's nice. I like that they're actually putting a bit of stock behind these guys for a change. Yeah. Putting them on, having that cup thing, they can brag all day long about that. And I'm fine with it. I am not against that at all. I remember when looking at the teams... I kind of glanced at the OC uh, of like uh, uh, prediction wise and thought mm, maybe because I, I look at Hawkins and Riley purely because I thought they might have gone not just for the shock value but out of all those teams maybe maybe the B team as well they needed it more to be yeah. like relevant and maybe putting a story about it. This is why I kind of wasn't wanting revival or Viking Raiders to have it because they've got the title. But this is the same one. It's not like we don't need it then. You're, you have the titles. You need someone else to have something to play with. Yeah, but that's <laughs> my opinion with the New Day as well. Even though I know why it was a possibility because they were kind of like, I thought it might be their kind of like apology to Kofi. Like, yeah, that's, what, that's why I mentioned the New Day because, yeah. yeah. But no, he even got the fucking, he got pinned again, didn't he? He did. <laughs> yeah, I think so. It's not like he was doing to be champion about a month or two ago. Yeah. But the club... When uh, the reason I didn't go for them at first, it was like uh, the stuff they're doing with AJ in the United States Championship. They're slowly building up uh, a reputation, which is great. Yeah. So in my head, I was thinking, well, they don't really need it. But when they won it, it wasn't. I wasn't sitting there going, well, they don't need it because it wasn't like a Roman Reigns thing of like, let's give him the championship again, and me going, but he's already a mega superstar. Yeah. Fucking hell. This was like okay it was a good stepping stone for them it, they don't need it but it doesn't hurt to yeah. help them get up there because yeah. if they do it right it gives them a little bit more legitimacy yeah if they do it right I doubt this is going to happen but if they do it right they could be like one of the most dominant stables on Raw yeah. or in the WWE so. um, and it might be another sweet way of getting Gallows and Anderson to stay because you know they were superstars in New Japan yeah and they, and, were, they, did, they were talking about leaving yeah and obviously you know uh, the bike again. Bye. Oh, got it for a second time. Yeah. Really? Oh, that hasn't happened often. Um, obviously, people like AW and Impact and NWA are stepping up their game, so WWE got to keep some people sweet. Yeah. And uh, Gallows and Anderson are a very talented tag team, so yeah, I'm, I'm cool with that. I, I thought it yeah. was a good decision. Yeah, it was a good idea. Uh, next was Mansour versus Cesaro. As far as wrestling quality is concerned, this was match of the night. Match of the night. Um, it was... A, it was Obvious from day one, there was only one reason this match was here, is to put Mansoor over in his home country to get the, the buzz going for the crowd and to keep the Saudi people in charge. They, they were on it from the dark. Yeah, and that's, yeah. you know, it's fair enough. Uh, it's it's a little bit gratuitous because it's kind of like, well, we're just trying to keep people happy that we're in the country mm-hmm. of and given their track record of sketchy things to begin with, we shouldn't even be in Saudi Arabia, really. And yeah. this is just another thing that I think, eh, you just catering or pandering to them however if you put all that aside they great, man- wrestling. great wrestling match great yeah. idea to put him against Cesaro because he's a serviceable incredible guy and Mansoor is one of those guys that if you just take away all this Saudi Arabia stuff and stop pushing it like he's their guy and just see him as a wrestler yeah He's legitimately got some juice behind him that I think he could be somewhere. He could put him in NXT and build him oh, yeah. the North American Championship or something like that. Mm. That's a good spot for him. He's a great wrestler and you've got a chance to build this guy correctly. So I think maybe get to this point where you don't rely on the Saudi Arabia shows for him. Yeah. You start putting him in the roster properly. You start having their week to week. Yeah. Because that's the feels like it in the minute. It's like it's he only pops up twice a year. Well, it depends on Saudi Arabia's point of view of it. Because it wouldn't have surprised me after the you know, the first couple of Saudi Arabia shows where he was on it, that WWE might have approached him with a contract. Mm. But at the same time, I'm guessing there's uh, in Saudi Arabia there's other wrestling shows there. Some higher power in Saudi Arabia B might go, we don't want him to go to WWE because we want him over here to keep our wrestling scene going. Uh, and, you know, with the, the awkward connection WWE have got with them at the minute WWE might be like yeah okay we're going to step on your toes yeah. but no I'd love to see Mansoor on the main roster and I think uh, I, I know what you mean by it, the whole almost like a pandering thing to here's your hometown boy lose your shit mm. because it's a rarity over there like if when the, the WWE comes to the UK yeah, it's great to see one of the English guys wrestling. But it's not a focus. Yeah. So they don't they, pander to yeah, us. Yes, if they weren't on the show... Didn't matter. It wouldn't have mattered. Yeah. But if they were very rarely over here and the UK had their own like wrestling-based thing and then it's like, WWE's going to be here for like the first time 
either ever or in eight years, I think we'd have more of a kind of reaction of like, they're over here and there's our English wrestler. And I think that's the way it went with them. I, I don't know. I, I, Either way, they I, were behind I, I the I feel like so. it's the, it, he's not allowed to not put Mansoor into this show. Because it will be written into the contract from the Saudi generals. It's like, you are doing this and you are putting him over whether you like it or not. And this is the kind of political crap I don't like. Don't get it wrong. Great wrestling match. Great wrestlers. Want to see more of Mansoor. Mm-hmm. But I don't like the fact that they're using him as a way to keep them happy. Because, yeah. as I say, I don't agree with their culture. I don't agree with their rules and restrictions and their religion. I don't agree with the things they've been doing, like fucking butchering and killing people. No, but you're and getting away with it. I, I'm, you know what I mean? So if we didn't do this podcast, mm. I probably wouldn't watch the Saudi Arabia shows. Um, I think I would purely because mainly because I want to know the results and well, you know don't want to miss stuff and it's handy with time difference. Yeah, you know, usually we got to stay. Yeah, time. I you know, know this is like not ah, afternoon wrestling. I think I you know I get the culture thing. You know, despite not including the murdering thing and whatnot, despite us not. Agreeing with their culture, uh, you know, WWE and everyone involved have to respect it. It's the same as if they came over no, here. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. I get they have to respect it when they're over there. No, that, that's, that's not what I'm disagreeing with. It's just the fact that I just think they're backwards and outdated, especially when it comes to women. But yeah, but that's changing slowly. As slowly, we'll but the point is, it's, it's so fucking slowly. And don't get it wrong, we've had a, a groundbreaking change, which, like mm-hmm. I said, we'll get to, but it's still too slow for me. No, we know, but sometimes you can't rush these. So you have to take it with a pinch of salt sometimes. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Would, would you anyway, be then, more okay with it if more Saudi Arabian wrestlers, not just the one, were on the show? Yeah, because it would feel like... Well, as long as they, they're they not in, put in the position that Mansoor is in where they win everything. Yeah. Just put them into random well, things. Well, would have been fine As long as the story makes sense. Don't just... Because this whole thing, there wasn't even a storyline. It's just Mansoor... They were just trying to get... The only yeah. thing they, just, they had the thread they put together is that he eliminated Cesaro last year. It was one of the eliminations yeah. he took. That was it. Mm. So we knew what this was, and that's why it was paper thin and transparent. Don't get me wrong. As I said, great wrestling, mm-hmm. great wrestlers, but it was paper thin what it was. It was there to put him yeah. over and to make them happy, and that... I don't like it's ass kissing, and I don't like it. Yeah. Um. So yeah, if they had more in there where they built them up over a couple of months, and it naturally made sense in the story, not a problem. But if they threw a load of Saudi Arabia guys in there doing the exact same thing with Mansoor, where there's no story build, no nothing, but they win all the matches, that is exactly the same as this, and it's just as bad. But that's why I was thinking at one point maybe Cesaro might pull this off, but I thought no, it, it's not, it's not happening. Happen. Um. Yeah, they could have put a couple more Saudi Arabian wrestlers in the, in the Battle Royal. They might have, but I didn't watch the pre-show and I don't think they did. No, they did. Um, as far as Mansoor as an individual goes, with what I saw, not just with his wrestling ability, but with his facial expressions and just the selling and everything. He's got the mark of the great wrestler. No, absolutely. Yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. take nothing away from that, man. And not, not at all. As but I said, great wrestler, great wrestling. I don't want to say... But, he gets it as in like he's only just this is his first ever wrestling match. I know he's a trained professional, but he gets how WWE works. And I just, I just, and I like him. I just don't want it to be a case. I only see him twice a year. Yeah, put him on the main roster. Put him into a storyline where it's not just there to make the Saudi guys happy. We want to see him in a story. We want to see him wrestle more. I uh, so we're, we're all enjoying it. Not just there to make them happy. It's there for everyone to be happy. Wouldn't surprise me if he's in the Royal Rumble. Yeah, but no, if he fun, is, yeah. make a nice show in the rumble. If he is, <coughs> excuse me, I guarantee Saudi Arabia will be like, well, we want a lot of money for that. If you're going to have him, and, that, and that's the the problem because mm-hmm. it's all about money. But not just for Saudi Arabia, but with WWE. That's the reason they go over there. So it's a very it's a lot of cash. This is why it's a controversial subject. But anyway, yeah, but yeah, it was a great match. Really enjoyed it. Everything about it was really great. The spots were great. The storytelling was awesome. Proper decent re- wrestling match and the obvious, but I suppose yeah. right person. And, but it shows again how dependable Cesaro is. Yeah, you can just um, yeah, was take it to the bank with him. Uh, next was Fury Strowman, the other marquee match. Yeah, which um, was slightly better and a lot longer than Kane Lesnar, but it was still sloppy at best. Yeah, it just never. The, I mean, yeah, he did the run round the ring. Um, Fury coming out in the Saudi gear. 
and he had all the pyro, yeah. all flames, oh my God, all yeah. smoke, all lasers, all fucking fireworks. He had the most I've ever seen. I think he got more than any of the winners ever had in WrestleMania history. I was like, Jesus Christ, you are literally shoving your cock so far <laughs> up his ass, it's unreal. Even Braun was something in the ring, like, oh, come on. Like, come on, it's Jesus like, Christ. Geez. Yeah, it, it was... It was too much mm. for me personally. Yeah, um, it, it annoys me when they happen to do that, but they won't give power to certain people that are there every week yeah. on SmackDown and Raw. That annoys me. Um, but yeah, he came out in Saudi gear, which I was kind of like, all right, he's doing it to respect that, but at the same time, it could why? be taken the wrong way. Yeah, it could be taken it, the wrong way. It went down the positive it way. It seems fine. So. But I just didn't see why he had to do it. Like I um, said, it might have been a gift from the prince. So, Maybe, yeah, 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 yeah there's rumours that could have been the case. Um, so, yeah, the match, the, nothing really stands out to me. He did the run around the ring. Uh, Fury did his own kind of drive-by type thing, I saw yeah. that. He did do a, a kip-up thing when he had hold of Braun. And it yeah. wasn't amazing, but it, I looked at him and, OK, he's trying. Yeah. But the only thing that flopped for me in, in that sequence is that he didn't take bumps well. No. no one hit him and he just hit the floor he didn't react and flip back or make any movements to feel like it fucking hit he just kind of hit the floor yeah like a fucking family guy character twatting the floor and no reaction and it's just yeah you know, or this, this shows to me that he hasn't been training long enough to this mass to be happening well no I mean it also sometimes yes he would fall back and it was I'm not, I'm not going to say like he fell on his ass like in a sitting position then fell back he didn't but you know, you get accustomed to how wrestlers are meant to fall, so you're going to notice when it's done wrong. Yeah. But for someone of not just Fury's size, but and for the little time he had to train, I thought he did okay. He did uh, not For, uh, for uh, a non-wrestler to, you know, the roles looked a bit yeah, stiff, and like I said, the bumps yeah. were a little bit... But I agree, like you said, with this, the short time given, he did okay. Fair enough. But my point is, you should have left it longer. Have him train up properly and put him in Survivor Series or put him in the Rumble. Or put him in Mania. Just train him up to the point where you go, this this is going to be a, a great match. Or why don't you have it as uh, Braun challenges him to a boxing match? Because at that point, Fury knows what he's doing. He knows when to hold back. He could talk Braun through it. And it would have... Especially at one in point, the- you could have had Braun knock Fury down. And you think, holy shit, this is it. And then Tyson gets up and then... Flip and knocks. Sure, so also, if they did out. a boxing match, regardless of the winner, they could go for another match at Mania and have that be a wrestling match. Yeah, so it's wrong to go where you, you beat me in a boxing match, let's have a wrestling match at Mania. Yeah. Mania. You can, yeah. Um, the ending... Apparently it was to protect Braun. It's protect Braun. That, that yeah. was clear and obvious what it was. So he got a knockout punch from Tyson uh, and knocked him off the apron and yeah. didn't get back into the count of 10. So it was a count-out victory. Victory is a victory. So, you know, Fury wins... But it was a hollow one, really. Yeah, it, it just kind of a bad taste in your mouth. Bit of a bad taste in your mouth, yeah. and just I understand. But nobody really wanted because it was to protect Braun and to protect Fury. Yeah, Braun got back in the ring and power slammed him anyway. If he yeah. knocked him out, he should have been down for a lot longer than that. That's and, what really pissed yeah, me. Yeah, and then two, like, why go back in the ring and power bomb because uh, power slam? Because that just makes Fury look weaker. It's not, mm, it just I don't it could have been really, really, really good, and it just really, really wasn't. I, I wouldn't have worried about making Fury look weaker because I don't think he might have another WWE match, but I doubt it. And I think again, like the boxing fans are going to get it uh, because they'll be like, well, oh, yeah, they're not. Boxing fans aren't going to look at him and go, Braun Strowman legitimately just kicked Fury's ass afterwards because mm. they know that isn't the case. Yeah. What annoyed me though is that that running power slam. It's taken out so many stars and they've been laid out for ages. Strowman had hardly uh, started his thing on the ramp. And Fury was up like nothing had happened. I'm like, well... You've got to sell it. Yeah, but the count-out, like you say, was to protect Braun. You popping up after that is almost buried the poor bastard. For people like us who don't know... Speaking of getting up as well, didn't Fury do a take a sit-up? Yeah, that felt like a a lead balloon. Yeah, it it just... just, He sat up and I was like, what are you doing? No, he... No, don't really yes, that. you are a legitimate hard man, but in this don't rip wrestling, off. yeah, don't. in this wrestling world against a man of Strowman's size, yes, you're winning. You have Strowman's to there to make you look good, but return the favour and make him look strong. Don't be a dick about it. Mm. Now, I mean, this might not be in this call. Yeah, it could have been down to lack of skill. It might, but again, someone might have told probably him to do yeah, that backstage. Yeah, that they, wasn't well, yeah but they could have said to him, oh, make, you know, get up afterwards, but they didn't tell him a time frame. 
Because if you're arrested, you know your time frame. Yeah. You think, to him, well, I'll lie here for a bit longer because the story would serve it better. But he'll just say, I'm told to get up. I better get up. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, it. It's down to lack of knowledge. It's down to, again, it's the lack of time he's had to build this up and figure out how to do things. Yeah. Not just wrestle, but how to tell a story. Yeah. You don't have to tell a story in boxing. You punch someone until they go down and stay down. You knock them out. You knock them the yeah. fuck out. Or survive. Yeah, yeah exactly. Really. But with this, you have to tell a story. And he didn't know how to tell a story. No, I mean, do you see that video that was going around a while back of um, Orton was like outside the ring and he's checking with the producer, are we clear, to see that it was off TV and as soon as he went, they went, yeah, he just got up and walked away like he, nothing had happened to him. Yeah. That's kind of how it felt because when someone says, all right, now get up in a legitimate match, you're gingerly getting up, you're selling the, the injuries saying. that happened to you. When someone Cameras says get up, in. you don't shoot up like nothing's affected you. Yeah. Sell the match, not just the moment, the whole fight. So you know, it, I know it's it's wrong to say because Hogan never did it. Hogan would, and then he'd hook up, and he'd be like, "Everything you've done to me for the first fifteen minutes gone because I've hooked up like a fucking maniac." Mm. But those days are gone. Yeah, we want to see exactly. a legitimate ish fight that we know is scripted. Yeah, yeah. I know that's a confusing sentence for me to say, but I get wrestling you. fans get what I mean. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it kind of fell flat. I yeah, so, <laughs> just like Fury did. But both match, both the Fury and the Kane match was there to just get the money in. Yeah, it was never about having. And that's what match. disappoints me. Yeah, that, that's why it was a bit. Bleh. It's all about money. It's not right. about quality. Now it was the United States Championship match with AJ versus uh, Humberto Carrillo. Good. Well, it was good. Um, could have been. Could have been better. Bit better. Yeah, but I, I still think it was a reasonable showing. AJ did all the things that we love. Um, and I think this was one good thing was just to put Humberto over and I think it did that even in yeah. defeat because AJ retained which I knew was probably going to happen anyway because you don't want to push this guy too soon as we said before makes sense do it as a slow natural build you just want him to have a good showing yeah. so that when he legitimately takes someone on and wins you feel like that's earned yeah. rather than forced <clears throat> and they're doing it right this was another wrestling match that showed the skill of Humberto yeah like I said, not the best match I've ever seen in my life, but by no means the worst. It was a good service of match that did what it needed to do. I think it was it was almost like the house show match of the card of like we know there's a story going on with them here. We'll put an, we'll, another reason to put AJ on the card, another title match to keep the Saudi Arabian fans happy and viewers at home possibly. Yeah. So it was kind of a match that was just meant to be there just because. But, you know, like I said, people were behind a bird, people like AJ. Uh, AJ is obviously um, probably still carrying the match because Roberto is still kind of young and new to the game. Yeah, he's 20, so, 22, I think he is. He's yeah, he's really young. I mean, yeah, very talented, but at the same time, AJ's got the experience. He's the so, bet. Yeah, so he was there to kind of go, oh, I'm following my lead, and, you know, I, I, you can uh, improve your skills with me. I think it's one of a possible series of matches until yeah. Roberto takes the US title, possibly. Uh, or unless there's going to be one big match to finish the rivalry, whether it be AJ winning or not. But I think they probably didn't put that all in because that match is kind of probably there to take out the dents and what does work and doesn't work. Yeah, so when yeah, they have their big testing, final match yeah, to go... The yeah, it's like, let's have a few kind of pre-matches to our big match, then when we get to the big match, we we are fully prepared. You know what I'm thinking, you yeah. know what works, I know what doesn't work, and we can put on a hell of a show. But like I say, like, well, like you say, the match wasn't bad by any stretch, but it felt it like it was still just there. Mm. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I don't want to shit on it, because it wasn't a bad match. Yeah, um, I, I like the, how he got out of the Stars Clash on the rope as well. He got himself out of that, which is great yeah. as well. Um, I do also like the fact that the, the club were down there as well, and at the end they kind of all posed with the, the cup and the title and everything. So again, they're pushing this big stable right here. Yeah, like don't mess with us. Yeah, don't right. fuck with us. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, it was it was a good match. Could have been better, but it did what it needed to do, and it pushed Humberto. Yeah, Humberto so. selling the leg was great, because yeah. as soon as he kind of stumbled, I just like, calf crush it. And obviously AJ went for it. So... Again, they're doing what Fury Strowman didn't. They're logically telling a story yeah. of like, oh, his legs hurt. He's going to go for the leg. There's AJ going for the leg. Is he going to tap? It keeps the fans invested. Yeah. And you know, so yeah, they're doing all the right things. Hundred percent. 
Uh, I think next... Oh, next was the, the women's match. So yes, so this is the as I've thing. said, this is historic. It is groundbreaking, absolutely. I think it's an incredible thing that we're getting to this point where women can start doing sports because one of the Saudi things they don't like is women doing sport in any mm. way. Uh, obviously, naturally, for respect, they were all covered up and had their yep. big T-shirts on. And for me, it don't get me wrong, it wasn't, it wasn't an amazing it match. Wasn't clear, it was just, no, 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 no. It was a standard match. Um... But I do like the fact that they kind of both came out face here and just they, they handshaked a couple of times. It was kind of like... They threw characters out the window. Yeah, they threw characters out the window. Yeah, they're kind of like, let's forget about that. This is just this big moment. Let's just do this together as a team. And we, they did. And I, you know, I, I like that. Uh, Natty won with the sharpshooter, which, you know, is fine. Uh, I think, you know, it doesn't matter who wins it. It yeah. really doesn't. It's literally there to go, look how far we've come. Yeah. My only downside is... That a couple of times it was a little bit awkward, like the bottle throwing. Yeah, um, but apparently that, that happened from that. Uh, to Ric Flair as well. So it might not have been anything to do with. I don't know. I mean, there was a couple of times as well. I saw blokes with their hands down and yeah, they didn't yeah. want to look. Which fuck you, you're an idiot. Um, and yeah, there was a couple of times where there was a couple of blokes looking a bit awkward and everything, and the the girls definitely not wrestled safe, but they didn't go absolutely no. nuts with it. You know what I mean? They're they, being careful. They, they're being careful. And for me, I was just like, well, for a marquee match like this, for a bra- groundbreaking match, you want to go up and say, this is what we can do. But it wasn't. It was kind of like, let's just have a match because the fact that we're having a match is good enough. The, you know the, what I mean? And as soon as they came That was my only downside. Yeah. It just, a couple of times, it just felt a bit awkward purely down to the fact that I could see eyes burning into the back of their heads with some people, which is pathetic. Well, when they came out, you could see on both their faces the emotion of it, yeah. of just how proud and happy they were to be there. But there's got, there would have been so many other emotions in there. It would have been fear, nerves, anxiety, not to mention that fucking heat. Yeah, the, to be uh, just to the girls, it really is. So what they did, like I say, they threw characters out the window because they're like, we're not here right now. We Eventually, hopefully, they will be, because we're not here right now to get over... Natalia Carol just was telling stories yeah, 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 tell story. the, the, was it the last something I don't forget, forget her name the, um, the Southern Belt Southern Belt thank you we're not here to get that character over we're here to go as women let's show you uh, we want to show you what we can do in our craft which is wrestle even though like you said it weren't a wrestling clinic but yeah they were probably very nervous there was a lot of like Rolling and arm bars and, and all that stuff. Yeah, deep drags and stuff. So, yeah, again, it, it kind of just happened. Yeah. And the match wasn't anything to write home about, but it was for, for more for the moment of this is happening. It's for the, it's, it was for the women in Saudi Arabia. Even yeah. afterwards when they were all hugging all the girls at the front and the women and everything and just... Yeah. That, that was all really nice. Just like... It's like they're behind them. It's just... It's like we want this to be the norm for you girls. We yeah. want this to be normal for you. We don't want you to be repressed and pushed back and limited because of what fucking men say with yeah. loads of money. We want you to have what we have. Yeah. And I, I, I think that's a nice message and I'm hoping that that pushes forward and we get more of this for those girls because God knows quality. they deserve it. Yeah, it's quality. quality. But they only just like allowed them to fucking drive in the last couple of years. It's backwards. Yeah, so again, it's their culture. And, um, you know, I obviously disagree with it as well, but I'm not going to shit on their culture because that's just the way they do. Oh, well. But, but, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm shit on their culture. <laughs> I think it's backwards. I think it's wrong. I think it's pathetic and I don't like it. I, I, I agree. And I agree. There's plenty of steps that they're making to push things forward and this is one of them. It's just... It shouldn't. The point is, the steps shouldn't be have to be made because they should already be where we are. No, um, but I, 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 I agree. It's easy to get like frustrated, like like you say, and angry. But I just think that's obviously not going to get through to them. So no, of course it baby isn't. Steps no, like this, some but... random bloke on a podcast that. No, no, no. I mean, isn't going to get through to them? I mean, them anybody all, coming up no to them with, get... with anger or frustration, yeah, they're no, just okay. going to fuck you. We do what we do. Yeah. So these baby steps are the way to do it. Um, but yeah, the. Obviously, the WWE were never going to go to a part of the crowd where they were scowling and whatnot. But what I saw, most people in that stadium, kids, men and women, liked what they saw. Yeah. They, they were supportive of it. So, yeah, it, it was a great leap forward, not just for wrestling, but for women in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, and that, that's great. And it's cool that, you know, despite all the 
negative shit we throw at WWE, that WWE can they, still do things like that. They're capable of like doing that. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. It, was, it is nice. Then was Team Flair versus Team Raw. Oh, uh, Natalia won chaps you. <laughs> oh, no, I said that. Yeah, oh, did you? Sorry. Uh, yeah, I did. I said that. Uh, Team Flair versus Team Hogan. It's good. Yeah, it was fun. I quite enjoyed it. Good. Everybody got their moment to shine. We had a massive spot fest at some point, back and forth. Yeah. Um, it was based around a hot tag for Reigns as well, which I expected, I suppose. But everybody got their moments to shine. Um, that Claymore had a real <laughs> shot. Oh, <laughs> oh, my God. Christ, they turned him inside out twice. <laughs> It went, oh my god, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen a claim was so beautiful. It, it wasn't just it fucking clapped. It, it wasn't was just room. Ricochet's reaction, because I thought his head just came clean up. Drew, Drew nailed flew. it. Well. He just fucking yeah. threw him. It, oh my god, it, like, you and me were like, I think we missed the next like 40 seconds. Yeah, we were just like, like, just like <laughs> what the fuck? What's a claim or? That was amazing. What I did like about Loved it, it from the, they did it at the start, and then it kind of was teased again near the end of. You know, despite the uh, the storyline being a bit controversial and 50-50. Oh, the Rusev. The Rusev Lashley thing. Yes. They, they were, made it work. Yeah, and they did. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm actually quite thankful for this because the whole story itself, I hated. I think it, sh- it shouldn't be working. I feel like they're trying to do whatever they can to break the, uh, Lana and Rusev up before they inevitably leave because they don't want to be part of WWE anymore. It's, that's noted. That's obvious. Yeah. And they're doing this and I don't like it and I think it's a little bit fucking tasteless considering the fact they are actually married in real life. Yeah. That, I don't, not, I don't like it. However, in this match, they built it correctly that they kept Rusev and Bobby away from each other for quite a while so that when Rusev finally got his hands on him, and Bobby was beaten down, I think it's Shorty G or someone in yeah. the corner, then he turned around and saw Rusev and Rusev went nuts on him. Yeah. And it was awesome. It was a lot of fun. I was like, yes, fucking do him. Fucking destroy him. And I was behind it. I was like, I'm glad that they actually made it work for a change. I'm just kind of hoping that we get to this point where we drop this whole Lana thing and they can just have a... Have matches. Do you remember, I think about a year, year and a half ago, we were talking about that pay-per-view where Ronda jumped the barricade. Yes. And we were talking about, you, you got to keep the crowd on it. Build it up, build it up, build it up. Now, in this case, um, they did it near the start where uh, Lashley was tagged in and Rusev's like, get me in. And it looked like about to go, and then Lashley tagged himself out. Yeah. Very heel thing to do. Um, then later on, this is when it was all like spot fest and chaos. Rusev came in, and one by one, he cleared out every member of the team. And I'd say, Lashley was hitting down Shorty G or whatever. And Rusev just had the rage in his yeah. eyes and the crowd are behind it. Lashley turns around to see him and he's not backing down. But it would have been, if Rusev had just cleared everyone out and then gone straight for Lashley, it wouldn't have the same effect. No, you have that, you have that, that pause. That, 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 that the pause, pause is the tension. Yeah, that pause is everything. The stare down is, that's, it, they it's They approach each other and then the strikes go and then you're just like, yeah, let's go for it. Um, it's the same thing as when when Sammy and KO were in their prime, were in their feuding and all that kind of stuff. When they saw each other in the Rumble, I yeah. think it was the Rumble anyway. Was it the Rumble? It could have been a Rumble, I can't remember really. No, but, you might be right. And then it just, it's it like, it like, oh my god! Yeah. And it just clattered together. I was like, yes! They were going nuts on each other. I was like, this is awesome. This is such a great way to, to get me invested in two characters. I mean, I'm very. Uh, old school in the sense of especially at Wrestlemania when the Royal Rumble winner is, is done when it, we got a winner and then it's kind of set right he's champion all the other pay-per-views are gone he will be champion going into Mania this is the match yeah. I'm a firm believer of I really don't want to see any physical contact between the challenger and champion until Mania because that's how you build a fight and they did it with Rock Austin at 17 um, where they just had they had tag team matches together um, bar maybe the odd finisher to each other there was not a proper match they, yeah they had like you know uh, talks and, and tension build up that final Smackdown before Mania they were like Austin was like hey, let's just toast the match and threw a beer at the Rock so a beer went all over him so it's obviously there's tension building and then Rock did a toast and knocked Austin beers out his, beer out his hand Tension's building, 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 and then they just go for each other, and they built it up so well that you're like, yes, you I don't see these I don't, happen. You I know I just work. said like, I want it to be a mania, but when you build it up that well, that when they do start brawling, you're like, oh man, just come on, you fucking yes. <laughs> That's they need to do more of that. Yeah, and so they they did it well with Lashley and Rusev. And um, I'm hoping they can capitalize on this. I hope. Yeah, um, not so make it, it weird again. Just and I mean, they did it well. Alana did come out, but then she went straight yeah, back after the yeah. thing. 
And they, you know, Lana's kind of the, you know, she's a, a pivotal factor for this storyline. She's line. the catalyst for it. Yeah. Isn't she? But they, they did it well without her, so with her, it could be 10 times better. Um, it kind of ended with an Orton Reigns thing, because Orton hit the RKO, Roman kicked out because yeah. he was Superman. And then, it looked like he was going to go for the punt. Yeah. And then uh, that's when I think uh, it went finishes crazy. Sorry, I my phone again. Uh, yeah, we got a few more finishes and that, and then finally Reigns got the spear in at the end. Yeah, and, and um, Team Hogan won. Yeah, yeah Team Hogan won. It was, it was fine. It was good. I, yeah, I yeah, can't, yeah. can't really grumble at the match at all. It did exactly what I expected yeah, it to do. It, and was, I think, it went what the way I expected yeah, it. I hoped it went that way. You know what I mean? I didn't want it to be a ball fest, and it ended up being a spot fest and good storytelling and a lot of fun for all of them. Yeah, the only Just a lot of fun. The only difference I thought, I thought Team Flair might have and it as a, a again another shock factor and yeah, it's Saudi Saudi's game all, stuff Saudis are all over Hogan they love Hogan yeah I just thought maybe that racism thing might come about yeah so would and I but, 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 but a cat apparently racism doesn't exist <laughs> in, well uh, yeah you get away with a lot uh, yeah so apart from the victor as far as how I thought the match would go it went exactly the, the way it went yeah uh, even though we weren't sure good. if it was elimination or not but it came quite clear yeah. as well it was uh, good uh, then it was the main event main event now this Hmm. Now, don't get me wrong, it wasn't an amazing match. It was a couple of times where it got a bit slow. We don't like the red light. No, we don't. No, we don't. They, they feel like it's there to add tension, but all it does is take stuff away. It get, takes too much. There's too many shadows. Yeah, take, so I don't yeah, know what's I going on. I can't focus too much. Get rid of the red light. I can't say this stress this enough. Get rid of the red light. It does not work. You've done it twice now. It does not work. It's too cane. Um, it's too cane Yeah. Um... There was good spots in the match, mm-hmm. absolutely. There was plenty of ta- like table spots and all this kind of stuff. There was plenty of aggressive moments and whatnot. There was plenty of stomps. Yeah. Um, and that was all great. Um, the super kick off the thing into the monitor and Bray fell down to that Sparks and exploded. And that was all good. Him rising out mm-hmm. uh, when Seth got his eyes caught in the sparks as well. That which he did. Which he did. He, the sparks yeah. are like miles yeah. away. From um, that was all fine. Um, the only thing that, like I say, it wasn't an amazing match, but it had its spots and its moments where I, I enjoyed. But yeah. it wasn't a full wrestling match; it was more of a brawl and a yeah. use what's around you kind of thing. The only problem was that the tension was instantly gone before, when the match started because of how badly they treated these two for Hell in a Cell. That was so, the same. Yeah, you know I mean, so because of that, we're sitting there going, "Well, we know what the outcome's going to be because of this and this and this." We, we we don't believe in this character as much anymore because Seth's been a prick on Twitter all the time. We've lost us a little bit of interest in Bray because of how they badly treated him at Hell in a Cell. We think we know the way this is going to go. Yeah. Because it's the Universal Championship. It's the red strap that says in the red brand, and Bray Wyatt is on SmackDown. So that. Yeah. You know what I mean, so the the tension was gone there a little bit. And it just it made me not as invested in the match as I probably should or wanted to be. However, the shock victory mm-hmm. really fucking got us. Bray Wyatt got him in with a mandible claw, then he hit him with a sister Abigail on the, and, concrete, on the yeah. concrete and pinned Seth Rollins. One, two, three. Bray Wyatt is your new universal champion. I do not know whether that means he goes to Raw or whether the belt goes to SmackDown, but fuck me, it was a hell of a shock because you made us believe that Seth was still your guy and that you didn't know what you were doing with Bray. But I sw- fair enough, you swerved us. I, I didn't see it happening. I didn't. I don't know if this is genuine because it was just a thing on YouTube. Obviously, it's SmackDown tonight. The thing, the image I saw was the uh, graphic for Miss TV with Bray Wyatt, and over the over it said "Sorry, cancelled." Which tells me maybe that may, might mean Bray's on Raw. Okay, fine. Um, it might be fake. I don't know. The thing that I, I, I'll. Uh, go more on the the bad taste in the mouth. Yeah, yeah. Hell in a Cell, it was, it was a big... It's still a struggle to get the taste out of your mouth. It did a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah. so when the bell rang... It, yeah, the match was good. I might even say it was slightly better than a Hell in a Cell match because... Oh, they, no, 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 it was. Yeah, they it, had a lot was. more flexibility. It was better. But when you look at it, most of what they did as far as storytelling goes is, despite there being different spots, it was pretty much the same story w- without the cell. Of like Seth trying to put the curbs on him, Bray keeps getting up. Yeah. The weapons don't affect him. It was just different weapons, different tables. Again, I'm still know, not right. sold on Bray being this unstoppable thing that can take seven curb stops and still get up. Yeah. Because now, now he's champ. No, who stops him? Yeah. No. Uh, well, well I, I, can get you, I, can, I can give you a pretty good guess who's probably going to do I it. It should be fucking Brock Lesnar. Or Roman Reigns. Or yeah, maybe Roman uh, Reigns. Maybe. But the thing I is, is <laughs> oh, I'd actually prefer Roman Reigns. If, if, uh, if he hits him with like. Ten spears, 
and then takes it away from him. I'll I'll take that over Brock Lesnar hitting him with two F5s good night. I'll take that over Brock what, Lesnar any day. What would be interesting, I mean, yeah, I'll just finish what I was going to say. It was, I'm a fan of Bray, always have been a fan of Bray since this new. Yeah. Not the Husky Harris days. Even when he was his, losing all the time, I still wanted him to succeed. Yeah, it was, once he got rid of Husky Harris and became Bray Wyatt, I mean, talking about like, the, the court leader stuff, I've been a fan. I think he's a good wrestler. He's good, great with his characters. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. Uh, as far as... I don't want to say businessman, because I'm not a businessman, but as far as what's best for business, I can't believe I'm saying that authority bullshit, <laughs> I just don't know what putting the Universe Championship on Bray does to benefit anyone. Because now... Because it's like too a, soon. Well, yeah, it's too soon. You've built him too strong, so it's like no one can stop him. And I just, I just don't know where they're going to go from here. It, we, yeah, which I agree, which makes me feel that maybe this is a more short-term thing than we are thinking it's going to be. Well, like they're mean, going to go all nuts with Bray Wyatt, strongest thing ever, taking on the cha- cha- challenger, getting the championship, blah, blah blah, all this kind of stuff, and then suddenly they'll lose interest. They're, they're basically they'll strike while the iron's hot. They'll lose interest, then someone will take a title off him, and then before you know it, he's not interested anymore. The thing, apparently, well, going into Hell in a Cell, Vince said he had no intention of putting the belt on Bray anyway, which, you know, brought up more questions of why he did the fucking why match. Do it? But obviously, he's now champion. Now, I don't know. Apparently, the Crown Jewel rematch was always on. The outcome, who knows? But now you've now put the belt on Bray. Hell in the Cell would have gone down a lot better if you just did it there. Yeah, everyone's saying that online. It's like, yeah. fair, fair enough, I'm happy that he's champion because I prefer it over Seth because I'm bored of Seth. Yeah, champion. Say. But why not just do it at Hell in a Cell? Then you would have had nobody like uproar this. You wouldn't have people cancelling the subscriptions, slating your company mm. and the decision making that you're making. You wouldn't have people hating you because you're laughing at the fucking fact as well, which he was. You would have just had a good match, a solid match. You'd done everything that everybody asked for, and Bray would have been your champion a month earlier. What difference would it have made? You yeah. still have the match with Saudi Arabia and have Bray retain. It doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have gone down better as yeah. well, I think. I just, yeah, I don't get why you just didn't do it ahead in the cell. Again, okay. I'm happy for him being champion, but he should have done it a month earlier. I mean, I get why they did it at Crown Jewel, because I'm guessing... So I'd be able to like, well, you know, you've been here a couple of times now, not one major title change, pretty pleased. But I kind of felt after the three count, the reaction was, there was a good reaction, but it was flatter than I expected. Maybe because they were shocked, maybe because of the bad taste from having the cell still, or maybe because a lot of the Saudi Arabia guys are there because it's a big event. Not because they're WWE fans. Because they you know the characters. Yeah. And Bray, so, uh, the Wyatt, the, the, the Wyatt, the Fiend is still a new character. Yeah. So if fifty uh, percent of the people that are watching that show live don't really know much about the yeah. character, you're not reacting. Yeah. The, their reaction was less. Oh my God, Bray's won. To oh, Bray's won. They weren't pissed off about it, but it was just kind of like, oh, cool, we got a new champ. Yeah. And that, you know, but um, yeah, a good a thing. It's funny you should bring up a possibility of Brock Bray you said they swerved this uh, last night which they did what if they none swerved, of us believed that yeah. Seth was going to lose what if they swerve us again and they do do Brock Bray but you know we were saying oh, Kane should be the guy to knock Brock off his pedestal what if Bray's the guy to absolutely kick the shit believe me I, I would like that and I and I think that would get him maybe some it might, momentum it might, back. it might happen in Survivor Series because obviously it's Raw well, versus SmackDown, but it's Raw versus NXT. NXT. So I don't know if that's Cole Lesnar Fiend, which I'm invested in. Yeah, if, if that's if that's your option, uh, WWE to, triple threats all round, mm-hmm. I am so behind that yeah. that you wouldn't believe. And if that's the case, you can still have Bray win because you could have him pin Cole, and nothing's bad about that. Um, however, if they do decide to do a one on one with Bray and Brock at one point, I'm kind of hoping Brock will do the right thing and go. Look how fucking popular he is. Look how much they're building him. I can't take that away with mm-hmm. an F5. Plus, I'm kind of hoping that he's still thinking, well, I've always wanted to work with Bray, and he didn't get that. He yeah. never got that. He's always wanted to work with Bray. He wanted it, man. He didn't get it. He got Ambrose instead. He was pissed off because of it. Maybe he's thinking, right, this is my chance to work with Bray, that he thinks working with him's enough. Yeah. I will put him over. I'm praying that he does that. Because every now and then, Lesnar does surprises. He yeah. did it with Seth. Um, he's done it with Reigns. They he's done it when it's necessary to put a certain person over and there's no one more deserving 
I think in Brock's eyes than Bray Wyatt. Yeah. He's a big fan of his. I mean, I know we just kind of sorry phones. I know we just kind of, uh, or I just kind of dumped on not sure if the Universal title is ready for Bray yet, or vice versa. It is too early, however, but at least it's him, not Seth. I'm still hoping it's a better reign than his WWE Championship award. Because yeah. that was, that that was, was just stepping flat. Stone. Stepping stone, wasn't it? it was just to get Orton and Bray at Mania, yeah, exactly. which still could have been the other way around. Yeah. Could have had Bray win the Rumble or whatnot. 100%. But um, uh, with Brock... Oh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll praise Brock here a minute. I don't know the details, but apparently Hogan and Flair had some issues getting into Saudi Arabia with their flights, and Brock sorted it. Oh. And I don't know if that means he gave them money or if he told security to back off. I don't know. But yeah, Brock can be a decent guy. He can be, yeah. I'm not saying he can't. Despite, you know, we could get the latter, and you might be right, and Brock just destroys him. However, if there's a storyline around it, the promos between Bray and Heyman, what they will throw that at each other, incredible. will be oh, because I've, I've always thought Heyman's the king on the microphone anyway. Yeah, Bray's probably a close second. I can't think of anyone as good as Heyman at the minute. Uh, uh, and That's on the roster. Yeah, yeah. That, uh, you know, with, there's Fiend and Heyman. I, uh, the Miz is okay, but he's nowhere near. I say, I say, their I, level. I say Black could get there definitely. Well, on a promo level, yeah. I think he can get. I think he's pretty good anyway. But I think yeah, he. Can, I think he can really get there. Yeah. yeah. But that's again. That doesn't matter. So yeah, Fiend's champ. Yeah, um, and it's, it was a big shock. And I am actually looking forward to SmackDown and Raw and to see what's actually happening. And it's stuff like this that makes me think: Why don't you do shit more like, like yeah. this often, more often, so that we actually want to tune into SmackDown and Raw? Because I was like this week. Uh, whenever I watch Raw and Smackdown as you and a lot of people know I don't watch the whole show you don't watch that no, you just check you check results but I, I normally really Facebook, I yeah. normally watch all the YouTube clips that, that, that WWE puts up they normally put about 10 to 12 clips up of mm-hmm. Raw the basic the best moments the bits that you show, need to know yeah. from storylines and wrestling matches this week was the first time I was skipping about 4 or 5 of them because I looked at him, not interested, care, not interested, yeah. not interested not interested I've seen that sit, don't care don't care I just look at the bit and go right I just need to know where that story's going just yeah. that's all I need to know and I, I don't want to be like that but I am at that point where I just don't care anymore so I'm skipping stuff to just to know the bare minimum so I can continue each week yeah. you know what I mean and that's all I need but with this change of title it makes me interested Yeah, it I'm, makes me go I actually am looking forward to the show I, I actually do want to see what happens but with you know based pretty much everything we just said I'm going in with a lot of caution. Yeah. Because I just really don't know if it's... This is either going to be a total time, disaster or amazing. God, that's the thing. I'm. It's the first time I've been excited to actually watch a show in a while. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm all over, like... Uh, yeah, we always talked about... Uh, we've been saying this for years. Uh, the big four Survivor Series is always the weakest. They could potentially put a lot of build-up to Survivor Series now. Because they've only three weeks to go. Yeah. And they're obviously going up against War Games as well. Mm-hmm. And NXT always seems to knock it out of the park. So WWE definitely needs to step, step the game up. up. Uh, before I forget, um, this was something else I read. Uh, th- th- this is probably what happened at Hell Cell changed it. But originally, the original plan for Bray versus... Oh, sorry, The Fiend versus Seth was they were going to do a double turn. So Seth was actually going to go heel and they were going to put the Fiend face. How can you put the Fiend face? Well, Saying that, the Fiend isn't heel either. No, but He's I just the they, Fiend. But it's, think, like, it's like Taker. He's not heel or face. He's just Taker. I think they just know that there's people behind. Maybe they wouldn't have turned him face, but they would have done the turn of like, Seth's gone in as a face, he's coming out as a heel. Because people just like the Fiend. The, 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 there's no he could be like it's like Owens whenever he's healed people still love him yeah he's a demon that we know is bad but we like him it's yeah. the same with that old school taker this evil dead guy but god he's, he's cool yeah exactly so yeah I don't know how they would have done it um, so yeah well, despite what I just said, said about whole oh, I'm not sure with Bray who won the universal title the solace I get from this is that Seth's no longer champ yeah because it just it's, he was becoming a dick yeah the rain wasn't working it was done yeah you know, this time last year, I think we were saying, oh, it's, we're, I'm ready for Seth to have the, the heavyweight championship again. Now I'm saying, okay, now I'm ready for him to not. Yeah. Maybe another year or two time, but yeah. it's the same with, with AJ. I want to see AJ champ again, but not, not yet. yet. So, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, the main event, it was a shocking end. It was an all right match, but 
I suppose it could have been better, but the shock was enough to get me invested. Yeah, I, didn't, I, didn't I don't really know where to put this in star rating. Yeah, um, I thought of, about it a lot, and it is definitely the best of the Saudi Arabia shows. I would because yeah, the rest I, of them were glorified house shows. Nothing really sticks out to me. Thinking that was something to remember, but with things like this, there was things to remember. Yeah, uh, I definitely think it's the best out of Saudi Arabia shows. However, it's still a mixed bag of stuff. So for me. I'm going to go for a six. I'm going to go back on five. Okay. Purely because, even though I don't know why I was expecting anything else, the way they built up those marquee matches, they dropped the ball big time. Yeah, they did drop the ball big time. How, however, one of them, the five and five, was really, really good. Well, uh, yeah. Um, and the quality of wrestling with the Mansour Cesaro thing, the the fact that the women's match was on there was incredible. Um and the shock win for, for Bray was enough for me just to give it that extra bit of Yeah, point. well, uh, no offence to Flair Hogan, I didn't see it as a, as a marquee thing, but, no, but mainly was... because they are wrestlers know what they're doing. That Kane, Kane yeah. is, but he's new, and Fury's obviously... this. Those are more, to me, celebrity matches, and they drop the ball. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I was going to give it a four, but you know, I agree with what you say, it probably was their strongest Saudi Arabia show. So yeah, I'll put it back in the middle of so five. five and six. Yeah. So there you go. So, yeah, Saudi Arabia done and dusted. We've got three weeks till Survivor Series, have we? Yeah, unless you want to do full gear. Or should yeah, we talk we, about that without we, the microphone? Yeah, coach? I mean, full gear is the AEW one. Mm-hmm. Uh, we haven't done double or nothing because that was just like a big... Yeah, we missed them out. out. Um, we might do it. We'll see how we go. We'll see when we do it. Yeah. But if we get a chance, then yeah, we'll do that as well. You'll so, know if we do because it will pop up. Yeah, exactly. So, You'll see it. If yeah. not, we'll see you in three weeks for Survivor Series. Yeah. So, bye! Bye!